Low transfusion is one area of health care that is vital and requires a sufficient power supply for safe preservation. However, practitioners uh, claim that uh, due, uh, due, to, uh, due to the uh, inadequate uh, uh, national and stable power supply, uh, they have uh, difficulties keeping blood in banks at uh, different uh, medical facilities. As our correspondent, uh, Dakuru Gray, has details in this report. Third Biennial International Conference of the Nigerian Society of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Scientists brought together members from all around the nation in Yenagua. And the IFI's environmental sensitivity index, which comes with each part of the region. The five-day conference is themed global pandemic and blood security and practitioners are urging the government to enact laws that would improve the efficiency of the nation's blood and transfusion sector. Because we don't have good uh, power system to preserve the blood, many of the blood that we even donate, that people donate for patients, are wasted. And in these days, we have modern techniques to preserve blood. So if the government is ready to adopt policies to make the blood transfusion sector work in the hospital, these equipment have to be provided. The rapid diagnostic test it cannot detect so many pathogens. But if, as a National Blood Transfusion Commission have uh, uh, asked us to do across the country, the gold standard for screening blood is ELISA. And the entire Biosa State facilities, there are no, there are no ELISA machine for screening blood. So the Biosa State government should please procure a ELISA machine so that we can transfuse safe blood to our citizens in Biosa State. While some experts expressed concern that voluntary blood donations are insufficient during pandemics, they also pointed out that giving blood every three to four months improves one's health. When there's pandemic, it's an emergency. That emergency needs intervention. Part of intervention is blood transfusion. And unfortunately, during pandemic, everybody, uh, voluntary donors may not be enough. As part of the activities of the society, advocacy is one of them. As a policy, you can only donate blood once in three or four months. Anybody that wishes to donate blood must pass through the right process of screening and certified fit. People that are fit to donate blood are adults between the ages of 18 to 65. The World Health Organization has recommended that national blood policies and legislative frameworks oversee the national blood system in order to ensure consistent and uniform application of standards pertaining to the safety and quality of blood and blood products. Dal Korugri, Plus TV News, Bayelsa.